Move all the cameras back to where they need to be. Uh, I'll leave the keys. You're in that seat over there against the wall. Hey, Ming Well, throw that on that table. There you go. <sighs> back in action. Back in action. Day. Day. Okay, before you sit down, you got to make me a drink. Uh, you are at the drink station, my friend. Grunts is. You are the drink station. Uh, uh, mic check, one, two, one, two. Oh, we might need to turn down the volume on the iPad. Hello. There you go. What did Sarah bring us? Does he know to turn the volume down a little bit? Turn it down, bud. Turn it down just a little bit. Turn it down to the other side. I kind of like it. It's nice background noise. Do you like it? Do you like the music? I love it. Oh, kicking the shit. I didn't think I'd ever have four people in here. Is he getting it? Okay, try not to kick too many cameras. <laughs> we got some more training to do this morning. Joe Boxer Brand, sponsored. Sponsored. Oh, I got to bring the mic here. Bring the mic in. There you Ming go. Wow. What are you doing, Ben? Stick your garbage? finger in there, Ming Wow. Oh, garbage? garbage? Oh, just, uh, it's that overflowing bin at the top there. Yeah. Say, the garbage yeah. bin up there. Should be chewing gum at the mic. Yeah, yeah, that yes. would be nice if you didn't Sir. do that. That would be good. I'm upset I don't chew tobacco. This is the longest setup we've ever had to do. Okay, that's okay. Well, I'm using this on kids. You're not, you're not allowed to have the mic near you. I can hear you clear as a bell. <laughs> no grunts. Put, put your headset on. Yeah. There you go. Hand. Bring that, bring that sucker. Are you ready? All the way over and put it right in your mouth. That doesn't make you look better if you're wondering. <laughs> you got a lot of hair going on there. Do you look cooler oh, now? Gotta lift my hair up. My God. Man, you like that? Not bad, eh? It's not bad. Oh, no, no, you got it. Bring that there you go. And then you'll hear yourself. That sounds in your head. Cool. Bring that when you're talking, bring that sucker right up. <laughs> bring it nice. Just like and your close. favorite thing at home, you know. Bring oh, yeah. it right in there. We bring it nice and close. <laughs> Sean's are on the it. radio. Yeah. Are you done? I want the chrome one. I think I'm gonna buy myself a chrome one that you hooks should. up to this. You can. It's just an XLR mic. If you want a different mic, you can just pop one in there. Can I ask you what the silicone? On I was gonna say for? there's sledding inspiration. Yes, here. there is. <laughs> so Mr. Chow doesn't come in and freaking with the podcast and twang. That still works. It's not near as bad as it bad. was before. Remember when you'd put like put a Mine glass down? A little bit of silicone. Well, you only have one spring for some reason. I was just looking at that. <laughs> I don't know why it's different, but you're th you're the drink station man. So I don't know why you're yelling at me to make you a drink. Why don't you, you throw have, those in the fridge? You have everything you need them? right there. Yeah. You having a Pepsi? I'm having a coffee. People are upset you didn't walk that's in with cool. a drink already. You're the guy that's drinking that's all the time. Fridge, buddy. I stocked it this time. Ooh, Rickard's red. Do you want some? What do you want? Not yet. Not yet. Coffee. Not yet. Where's your uh, cups? Oh, fuck, we Dude, coffee. look at that. We don't have a podcast intro yet because I, I would have played like something cool. <laughs> Welcome to Sixes Power Hour. <laughs> I only have what's uh, what's available to me on the soundboard because I haven't updated it yet. There's big ones in there too. In oh, that, you want in that silicone thing? Oh, oh there you go. The there you sickles, go. Yeah. Where's where's the Polaris? Uh, <laughs> the first question of the day. Okay, so. I called them yesterday. What do you think you're doing? Because I've seen there was a a few getting dropped off at Rainy Creek. And it should be in the next few days. Expected delivery still says Tuesday of next week. And you think it's going to come this time? It's supposed to be. It okay. did ship. Oh, it shipped it, this time. It is shipped the Monday we got back. So, so it's actually going to show up. Two and a half week or a week and a half ago it ships. So. Well, when was it supposed to be here? Like October or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> End of October, beginning of November. You're like the last one to get his <laughs> snow check. Rum? Yeah, I know. Or bourbon. Well, whichever you decide. Oh, Probably there's rum. Bunch, there's only flavored rum in there. That's the popsicle rum, but it's good. Just don't let Wade drink it all. <laughs> popsicle <laughs> rum. Ooh. Well, cool, guys. 30,000 subscribers. The 30K. That's, that's, that's a long a ways. That's we've, a lot of people. We've come a long ways. We've come a long ways. None yeah. of this was ever manufactured, so the Ooh. fact that we got this far is pretty crazy. Yeah. And now that this guy is around, I think we're going downhill from here. Yeah, how, so it's over. <laughs> how did you weasel your way into all Look this? Look at the only reason you got 30,000 subscribers is <laughs> because I'm here. <laughs> outro master. Outro master. Yeah. Uh, he's good entertainment, that's for sure. That's about it. 
good entertainment. What's going on with Boulder and the landslides and stuff Apparently like that? Apparently it's open now. I seen a post last night. Oh, they have it open now? Yeah. Hmm. Somebody sent a picture from the cabin. Yeah. I would like to see, did they have any pictures of the landslide or anything Only like that? one that I saw. On Instagram, there's a picture of a hoe digging out the road there. On uh, the mudslide, isn't it? Yep. So that happened the day we left? Yeah, a bunch of rain uh, kind of chased us out of there. And the day or day after? I think it was the Monday. Yeah, because we still had snow down to the parking lot. But Oh, uh, yes. Is this it? Five days ago. That would make sense, I think. Yeah. yeah. Revelstoke Mountaineer. But they only have their one trail going up. Five days ago? We yeah. were there two oh. weeks ago. So that washed out there. Mm-hmm. There you oh, go. yeah, that's the picture. That's a bit of a problem, but I could probably side hill that, I think. Oh, I'm getting one, too. Sweet. Oh, you could side hill the crap out of that dirt. Oh, yeah. Up and over the tree. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm just being a host, man. We're doing double coasters here. Just being a host. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of water for that time of year, huh? It poured. Yeah. It poured that day when we were leaving. Yeah. Well, it was still raining at the cabin. Yeah. All the way up to, I don't know how what the elevation is at that cabin, but... It's like 5,000 or something like that. You did look it up. It was between 5 and 6. Friends, bring that thing thing right up to your mouth. But it moves around. It moves. moves. Pull it. Bring it to you. It moves around. I don't want it right in my face. It needs to be right in your face. You need to to smell it. Your mustache needs to tickle it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Bring it right up. That's... That, I know you're half deaf, but that's why you, that's why you're wearing the earphones. No so doubt, you, I if, can hear clear. If you can't hear yourself talk, you got a problem. I can always hear myself talk. I know he probably hears himself think, sleep, uh-huh. all that fun stuff. We got some rapping to do. Ooh, rapping. I was gonna bring my box, but yeah. uh, what kind of rapping? Like we, beatboxing? We have like uh, we have it there. 360 designs, 365 yep. designs, specifically. <laughs> they sent us some rap. That's my little sponsor wall. You like that? That's good. I like that. I was just trying to think of something like low impact. The decor in here is getting better. I'm liking the gnome. That's good. You like that? <laughs> yeah. He's my favorite. He's pretty good. Yeah. He's my favorite. That I got is... that in Fernie. Oh, that's perfect. That's a good yeah. gnome. There's another one upstairs. So yeah. I, I got my wrap too. Yeah. Unfortunately, the snowmobile is not here to do it. Polaris. Polaris. When were you supposed to have it originally? It was like October. It was supposed to be end of October, beginning of November, so first week of November. What's the problem? The problem is it's a Polaris. They had well, all it's of them. COVID have, stuff, all of them, probably. yeah, all of them have had supply chain issues with getting a lot of their computer chips. Not not parts. cat. They don't sell enough. No, they make. <laughs> they only got to make ten sleds every year. Like everyone's happy. Great satisfaction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they don't sell enough exactly. sleds for there to be a problem. They are running behind. I think. I don't think a lot got snow checked this year. Well, last year it was because of shocks. Yeah, and this year they were like taking chassis and stuff like that, weren't they? Because the didn't you say that they weren't giving out dealer or uh, dealer demos this year? Yeah, dealer demos they weren't given. Like dealers don't get any twenty twenty twos. So it's the chip issue again. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Just so everybody that snow checked are guaranteed to get their snow check. Yeah. So eventually you're guaranteed to get it eventually. It's well, eventually it's coming. It'll be here. It'll well, be here to before. A few guys. With dues that were told end of February. Oh yeah. End of February. Yeah, for their. For their turbos. Mm. Yeah. Oh my I don't know God. about the naturally aspirated ones, but the turbos were in February. And they were expected to come without the screen um, gauges in them. And what they were actually doing is putting their last year's gauge in them that they still had yeah. or getting some of their stock back from their dealers to be able to get the sleds out the door. Well, Colin told me that one he canceled came in in October. They said that probably wouldn't be able to leave the dealer until at least beginning of February. It was sitting there, but doesn't have gauge. Because of no gauges. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. The trickle down, man. Trickle mm-hmm. down of COVID. Mm-hmm. It's gonna, the full effects are yet to be seen, yeah. I think. I said 2023 when this is all over. Yeah. That's my bet. 2023. Well, I don't think it's ever going to be over. The government ain't going to let it. No, South Park did a recent episode where <laughs> if they and they, years, South Park and they South nail Park, it. So yeah, South Park is the most relevant show on TV. They that are. is the smartest show on the TV. The Simpsons are second. You think so? I think there's, yeah, they're, they're there's been a couple things. I don't watch Simpsons anymore. I'm going to go Boomer and say 1990s Simpsons. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like the writing better. but yeah. That's okay. <clears throat> what else is new? What else is new? Well, me and, uh, me and Grunts were chatting there. We're seeing on the new Matrix the bottom sprocket has been blowing up. I've seen two of them. 
on the belt the drive side. For the belt drive. Yeah. Belt drives are blowing up. Good. No what? Way. Engines, belt drives. <laughs> <laughs> So Sean's already going to buy uh, some spare parts. Yeah. So this year, instead of buying spare shocks, buy spare pulleys. Sprockets. Yeah. Pulleys. So like belts. the teeth are just stripping off of it? They just they're, grenade. They're just blowing They're cracking. We'll just have like a picture of them. I think they're cracking where the casting comes out from where your flange is, where they bolt on. I think the casting around that's cracking, and then they're just breaking well, they're probably off. Because like, I don't think they're solid. Oh, they're I like think, hollow or yeah. something. Oh yeah, well, Polaris. Leave the Polaris. <laughs> well, knock let's some. build something ultra light to weight and last a hundred miles. Yeah, <laughs> like knock some weight off in other areas. Okay, we don't need a cushy seat, <laughs> but I the drive Kat. sprocket would be nice. I wish Cat would uh, do a little better on the seat. Uh, maybe, maybe for you big fat guys, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, if you just ate some McDonald's, you'd have more cushion to sit on. Oh, that Mountain Max. Now that machine had a cushy seat. Were you into that machine? Oh, no. Yeah. No. You didn't seem like you enjoyed a moment on that thing. I didn't. I did enjoy it, but I didn't love it. No. It's... You know what we enjoyed? We enjoyed watching you ride it. We enjoyed that a lot. We enjoyed watching you ricochet off the big tree. <laughs> that was good. That was just caught. <laughs> I was just caught on yeah. our last video. You got yeah. very lucky. Just yeah. about freaking head on it that was tree. Only, it was only the helmet cam that <clears throat> caught it. I was looking down helping grunts and <clears throat> just barely oh. caught it. No, it was just... So I hit it with my left ski, and I just hit it with the left side, like from the skag to the left side. If I would have hit it with the skag, it would have been game over. <laughs> Done. But I just caught it with the edge of the plastic. I feel kind of bad about that hole I left in your trailer floor. <laughs> I was like, look at that. Oh, like, oh ben, Ben's going to say it's fine, and then he's going to be like, fucking bad. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's fine. We're just, whenever we have to replace the floor, we're just going to beat it out of in labor. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Those skegs, I looked at them. They are, yeah, they're toast. Are they? Oh, yeah. Really? Like, I thought they were good. <laughs> no. There wasn't no damage to the trailer floor at all from them. There was a big hole there. I didn't that's point that out bad. in the last video because we didn't find it out till like 2 a.m. And it was like, ooh, yeah. that's not, that's not like, right. Oh, that's here not it comes. Good. Ben's going to fucking chew me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> like, here it comes. Here it comes. we got the kid in the corner watching TV, too. Hanging picking out. your nose. Hanging out. Picking <laughs> his nose. I caught you, Liam. <laughs> if you're going to pick it, you got to flick it. No, wipe it, no, wipe it on that. your pants. <laughs> wipe it on your pants. <laughs> wipe it on the seat. Yeah. Wipe it on I the feel seat. like we uh, are riding a short bus today. We're in a padded room, literally. A padded room. It's sound tiled. Sound. Man. It's, sound. It works extraordinarily well keeps all the sound in here and then when i'm yelling at the screen because i'm gaming or something like that sarah doesn't have to listen to it you did something on the roof too or what that's mad yeah as well. the, the roof is just it's just bed sheet oh yeah i didn't like the white but remember how we did the trailer and we did the inside black and then it took away all the light yeah that's the problem i had here fair enough yeah so i'm running extra lights but i'm working on the decor the pro i'd like to put something there but the problem is there's actually not a wall there so you have nothing to screw anything to. There's that's nothing. A to that's a window. Yeah, behind the TV is a window, and then almost extends right back to where Sean is. Well, if you're yeah. gonna hang something there, you could just run some fishing line from the roof down. That's what I'm gonna do. You need to get like a deer rack. I thought about it. Yeah. You just gotta get one first. I gotta shoot one first. <clears throat> yeah. One would have to put it. Well, you wouldn't have to put it in for a draw, I guess. But no. Not for a whitetail, no. No. But I would like to put something like that. Grunt. It's just eclectic shit. It's just whatever. Grunts probably has one in a bucket in the garage like 10 people noticed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one is now mounted. <laughs> I just got to pick them up today, maybe. Did you shoot your elk? No, I did not. You've been trying. Uh, the elk draw ended November 25th, and the elk were back where we could shoot them November 27th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that well, how Well, they got cold and it snowed, and. You know? Yep, yes, elk showed up. Yeah, that was it. Hunting elk in uh, Alberta in November when it's twenty-one degrees is not it's a challenge. Real productive. Why do they have just different habits? No, they just stay in the bush where it's shady, and anywhere in the bush around us, we don't have permission. Oh, you can't get to. We have permission on a bunch of farmland around us, but no bush. Hmm. No bush. <clears throat> Ming Wow's got bush. Oh. It's not the <laughs> 80s anymore. Bush is no good. <laughs> yeah, uh, bush is coming back into style for some reason. I you fucking hope not. What? No bush in there? No bush. No bush. Uh, okay, well, here's the thing. is The foundation of this whole podcast and everything is built on cheap beer. Oh, yeah. So we do have that. Rickards. Rickards ain't really cheap beer. No, 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 no. We have... Oh. 
neighbor. That sounds like a grunt spear. <laughs> Village. Village Brewery. Brewery right Is it any here. good? I don't know. You want some? Well, let's grip it and rip it. Brewed <laughs> Bre- <laughs> right here in Calgary. There's Is a, it a twisty? There's a thingy in the, uh, the thingy. No, he's got a thingy. He's got a thingy. This is way easier. So we we're exactly. on our way in here. We noticed Whitey was still on the truck. Yeah. What? Why? I didn't have space for it in the garage. Oh. Well, you better get that <laughs> all over yourself. I didn't have space for it in the garage, so it just ended up sitting there. I finally got rid of most of the skidoos I was working on. How is it? Use a fucking coaster, you fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault it blew up. No, I've been working on a lot of sleds around here, but parts fucking take forever for you would like that is it thick try it toppy i'm good it's hoppy i'm having coffee have you had that before no or does it just look like it it just looks like it's a thick stout beer yeah yeah Yeah. it's not bad i don't mind it's not uh it's got a little hop to it but it's not one of them like high ipa well that is the foundation of the podcast cheap beer (laughs) usually brava yeah. <laughs> usually Bravo. Yeah, usually Bravo or whatever. If there's boxer here. TNT. Do they that... still like TNT? Is that the name of that beer? I don't know. What about Blue? Never. That doesn't even sound familiar to me. Blue? Yeah, I haven't seen that in forever. The Bat? Yeah, it's still around, right? I think that's still around. What about Crest? You seen that around? Not yeah. lately. You remember all these beer around. cans as a kid? And you're like, yeah. man, I don't know if I've ever seen that since you yeah. eligible to drink. The Black Blue it. was NFG. <laughs> wasn't good? No. no. No, I don't remember. I don't think I've ever had a Labatt ever. Mm. I enjoy a Moosehead once in a while. They're okay. That's a Eastern beer. Yeah, they're all right. I'll I didn't want to be specific with right. what part of Eastern, but I'm sure we'll get some comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here's the deal: is for the next time they do like a a release for like Skidoo or Polaris or whoever, is we can all hang out here. Oh yeah. Put it on the TV, and we can watch a release. That'll be good. That would be like a sled. It's like a sled companion video. And then yeah. what? Cut it down as we see it? It's just a podcast. That's all it is. It's just a podcast. And we can like... None of this gets edited, Grunts. None of this gets no, edited fine. out. <laughs> yet. There but. is not an editor in the world that can fix me anyway. <laughs> I make you look I, pretty good. <laughs> I think you should, could Come do on. singing. Come on. No. I think they could edit you <laughs> to have a nice voice. Singing. Yeah. No, it wouldn't work out. I think his editor, it's something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's like a lot of shit. That's true. Out. I can't, can't use that. <laughs> and it's always because of one word. Yeah. One word, word, But that, that goes with that goes with all of us. I'm like, oh, I'd like to use that, but I can't. <laughs> if you'd quit being one, I'd quit calling you one. Here we eat, fella. <laughs> 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 we just got to time those live releases so we can make fun of the ski guys yes. live. So let's get back into some snowmobile stuff here. What do you want? So when you guys rode the turbo last year. <clears throat> Which one? Uh, the ride, ride the moose. Yeah, ride the moose. Yep. Yep. Chassis-wise, I don't give a shit about the turbo. I rode Mike's, and it was like riding a fucking buffalo. They're a little goofy. <laughs> the skidoo is just so it, much different. I couldn't make it I, side hill or nothing. Like it was just like riding a fucking buffalo. Well, and we didn't have great snow conditions for it. Not really. No. No. We went up Eagles, and there was maybe three inches. It wasn't a lot of good snow, and it was all hard underneath. But when we rode Mike's, we had awesome snow, and it still was shitty. Hmm. I don't think I would have had much of an issue with that turbo if there was a little more snow. Well, I didn't have a real issue with it. Ben ran Mike's into a tree. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> It was well, a fun machine. We'll probably get a chance to go out there again and put one of those up against the Alpha. Yeah, in some good snow, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, we, we got to time the snow. How many horses the Alpha? Two hundred, at five pounds. It's a little less than two hundred. Man, power to weight ratio. That's pretty good. That Alpha's. Yeah. That's two and a half pounds per horse. Yeah, yeah but if that's you took pretty your, good. If you took your altitude, if you're two hundred at sea level, what are you at six thou, seven thou? Probably down to stock. Mm, so you're probably no, we'd be pushing more than that with a turbo. You I might think. be close to where the dew is at 165. Well, I know like the sidewinders and shit like that. The turbos, anything turbo four stroke, is that elevation does not matter. Mm-hmm. You're running that same horsepower. So I think with the turbos, your loss is the same way. I don't think I have loss. Oh really? Because I thought there's compensated. There's a bump up to like eight pounds as you went high. No, I got a spring in there, so it's the wastegate spring. So it's like, oh, well, that's yeah, seven pounds. No, yours or doesn't. I can put in a bigger spring. Yours doesn't compensate. It's just flat. Oh, no, a flat no. boost rate. 
yours does go down. So probably ski dues. Yeah. So if mine doesn't, co- yeah. So you're right. So if mine doesn't compensate, then probably 180 ish. I would say maybe. So you get up to 8,000 feet, you might be down closer to where the turbo skidoo is. Yeah. Yeah, we can put them up against each other and see how they do. And out the door, buying an Alpha, putting an aftermarket turbo on, still probably cheaper than buying a factory one. Oh, man, you're like right neck and neck there with pricing. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, by the time you drop one on. Yeah, you lose your warranty. But what are they offering for warranty on the turbos anyway? I thought they weren't offering anything. Four year for Polaris. For their turbos? Yeah. Okay, it's due, that's... Two is only two, I think. I thought they were giving you like a year at one that point. That was only the for the first, ge- first gen. That was when they brought them out like that half year, 20, 20, like 20, the, 20 and a half. half yeah. yeah, 20, 20 and a half, yeah. They give you one year warranty on them, but I th- I don't know what dude's doing for for warranty. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking Mike. I don't know anybody who snow checked one. Nope. Not a single person. Which the do? The do. Besides Colin, but then he canceled his. Colin and another guy we know from work. But they both canceled. I imagine Ryan snow checked a few. Oh, he's got his. Yeah. He's got his. I wonder if he says it on his site there. What yeah. is he? He's, I'm wearing the I'm wearing the hat. Ride the mouse. Ride the mouse, boys. Ride the mouse. I imagine we'll link up with him again. I should probably Oh God. Yeah, we don't have Facebook hooked or Instagram hooked up in here you yet. You don't have Instagram hooked up? No. What have you been doing in your spare time? I, yeah. I do I have this a whole is your I job. have a dedicated profile for this computer so that when I go up here, you guys don't see weird shit coming up in the browser history. Oh, we don't want to see <laughs> that. <laughs> so, <laughs> we got the we got all the stuff we looked at last time on here. That's the last yeah. time this profile was used. Oh, yeah, so I, I should log us in in the Facebook. So then we can at least see what he's got. Yeah, but I imagine we'll link up with him again. Yeah, it's absolutely. Time up there. You like that skid, Grunts? There's your dual rail skid for your Alpha right there, buddy. Yep. So you can buy an Alpha now. He's no. processing it. No, no, he's thinking. As far not, I'm thinking it's not going to happen. As far as I know, all like the European Alpha, or... I guess it wouldn't be alphas. Sleds all are... Twin rail. Twin rail. Scandinavia, is it? Scandinavian build or Europe yeah, build like or something there. like that. I don't know if those come out of the same factory. I don't know. Is, do they, does Cat have two factories? I don't think so. So why? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. As far Anything as I know, going they east looks one. like this. Anything going west looks like this. Yeah. Because hmm. we had people um, oh, that's on like... the channel comment that, oh, mm-hmm. we can still get a twin rail M8 here. Yeah. Oh, they that's, don't even list it as an option. Oh, that's like BRP or ski do. They got links. Yep. That over. was always across the pond. Yeah. Yeah. Polar- I'd get a links. Polaris, I think, is flat across the board, I think. Yeah. I think it's all the same. Who's dinging? Everybody, you. No, it's not. Isn't it? I shot Everybody mine. has their phone. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> I got mine turned off. <laughs> you got uh, yours turned off well, this time. Volume down. I put Good mine on silent. Take your text. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's fun. Ben, what are you thinking for a new sled, buddy? <laughs> what are you thinking? You're you've had that thing for. It's getting. I know. It's, it's getting. It's probably old. just it's worn out. It's time. <clears throat> it's oh. no good. What are you thinking will be the next purchase? It's probably going to be a cat again. What are you going to go with? Cat's got to put see like if there's twin rail. I want to see what they do this year because it's time. I don't think, time. I don't think you're going to see a big change this year. No, nope. it'll be next year. You think it's another year? How Cat one does more it. year, baby. One more year. <laughs> one more <laughs> year. How Cat does it is they do a big upgrade the, for the last two years of the model. Just looking at their history. So what they did on the Alphas this year was they upgraded the drive pulleys. And the clutch. Yeah. And what else did they do? I'm trying to remember. But they upgraded the clutch, and the, I think they did a few other things. And that's kind of Cat's history is that they do a couple upgrades, and yeah. they run that one for two years. I think they got put behind the eight ball with the factory boost from the other two and they're scratching their head now i think they're gonna have so. to figure out something dude because like they're they're behind now yeah everything's gonna be turbo i mean you like what you like i if i'm gonna have a maybe less current machine compared to some other two it better be reliable at least so that's yeah. kind of where i'm held at at this point they yeah they're gonna yeah they're, they will have to do something to yeah. keep up with the other yeah with everybody two. else Keep seeing some uh, some of those electric sleds 
Going Seeing out and touring around. You see that on Instagram quite a bit now. Tag, are they getting? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they working their way this way? I seen I one. Anyone in the out mountains. west? Is, was someone out west riding one? I thought I seen one. Yeah, I yeah. thought I seen a video of one. I didn't check in where it was, but I would buy a diesel sled before I'd buy an electric one. <laughs> you have. There is <clears throat> options for that. I there would, are diesel sleds. I, is there actually? I, yeah. I would sooner have to shovel out a diesel sled than run out a battery and be fucked on the side <laughs> of the hill. I think they will factor that in. I honestly don't think it'd be terrible. It's the way it's going to go. Yep. No. Even yes, even the big is. Polaris, Articat, Skidoo will all become electric in the next 10 years. I agree with that. 100%. That's not even fun. You go to climb a hill and you don't even hear it. It's you still just, fun. You can get the room box. You better buy like three crate engines for your sled and <laughs> fuck, buy you another part well, sled. You <laughs> might as well buy another couple sleds. Let's put them in the garage. They will be electric eventually. Yeah. They will move to that. Everything's yeah. going that way. Just like, ask a GM guy. It's not a, a Zuzu. It's a Duramax. Zuzu Duramax, yeah. Even, <laughs> even in the ener- energy industry, they're starting to go to electric pumps. Electric pumps? Electric With the big diesel generator in the back <laughs> blowing it's still more of smoke. It's still more efficient, though. It's, well, a, it's more efficient to run a generator to power an electric engine. It they is can, true. They can have the electric engine out front where everybody sees it. Hide the diesel generator in the back so the leaf liquors aren't upset. That's that's a thing. Don't <laughs> say that. You're hurting lots of people's <laughs> don't ideas. Don't hurt it's anyone's true. feelings, man. It is true. But some new frack pumps, they have a turbine. They don't even need a generator. Mm. Like, they, they get going, and then they create their own. I don't even know how the heck it works. You keep seeing a lot more uh, stuff on hydrogen coming around, too. Yeah. Hydrogen power. Yeah. That's pretty cool, too. That's yeah. a thing again? Yep. It went away for like it 20 years, didn't away. it? It was dangerous. Yeah. It is dangerous. I think, uh, maybe a year ago, uh, Hyundai had a factory blow up in China or something because of the hydrogen thing. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Oh, yeah. It's volatile. China. China, of course. Yeah. I could have swore yeah. I seen something about a big rig running on hydrogen touring around Alberta here. I don't think it's a big... Or it's a hydrogen, hydrogen multi-fuel or something. Think. Injection. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't be a big thing to change. I mean, any engine should be able to run on hydrogen. Diesels what is your th- need, diesels need the lubricity of diesel, though? Yeah, yeah, diesels you wouldn't be able to. What's your thing against electric snowmobiles? Nothing really, other than the fact of who wants the electric snowmobile. It's, it's just not, not even the it's snowmobile. Not, it's not manly. I no, get that, it. Not even that. <laughs> it's just it's not dirty. It's not smoky. The people <laughs> that want to see electric snowmobiles don't even ride them. You think so? Yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> mm. I don't know. There's one. He wants to see it. Yeah, I, I would love to Matt's see it. Matt's a big snowmobile. fan of it. I'm a huge fan of anything electric. I think it'd be good. Torque is always right there. Okay, so instead of paying a dollar sixty for premium gas, mm-hmm. your power bill goes through the roof at your house because you got to charge this piece of shit. <laughs> well, we charge it at the hotel grounds. And that will be a charge. <laughs> they will start charging for that. Yeah. My see, thing is how. Is that going to become feasible when you're in a parking lot? Are you going to be yanking your generator out there with you so you can run your generator all night, charge your machine up? I think the infrastructure will come. The infrastructure. It'll be behind. We'll have to do the roof of the trailer in solar panels. So with charging <laughs> don't look at me inside. you guys can start putting money in the pot too you can put solar panels on the whole thing i don't care wow <laughs> somebody well, might start buying them now and yeah. the underneath will be a big battery pack so it'll charge during the day as then, long as it's not snowing but then we'll need a kenworth yeah. to pull the fucking thing because it'll be so goddamn heavy and we did see one there that was a nice <laughs> yeah. single axle mm-hmm. yeah then you can charge your piece of shit with all your other expenses wow number one whoop whoop I think Ming's trying to say <laughs> something. Well, give me the fucking cup. You want me to fill it over there? Did you? Did I tell you that the Richie Brothers post? Yeah, that single that axle, single axle W nine hundred. Yep. If it was too bad that it wasn't all wheel drive, because me and Grunts were talking. He's like, it would be cool to do that one day. Have a big rig as a sled puller, but absolutely, you you're gonna be putting your chains on a lot. You're constantly axle? stuck yeah. with a two wheel drive. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, even a tandem's a little bit better, but you still need weight on them. Oh, I'd yeah. I'd put a big a thick single steel axle plate. would be better than a tandem because you have more weight per axle. Yeah, and less snow bite. less snow drag. But there's also that thing where the front tires chew. I just realized you guys something. brought your own mix. We're smart. <laughs> you didn't trust me. Oh no, we were stopping. <laughs> oh yeah, 
Yeah. I just realized that. Knob Creek. Is that the same stuff we had last That's time? That's the same stuff. I don't drink it alone. Okay. So it's whatever is here is here. It's hard to justify spending that much on a big rig. So me for... and... Uh... Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off. Well, it's, it, I was just saying it's hard to justify spending that much money on a big rig. That's it would be more the novelty of doing it. I guess. Yeah, it is like yeah. getting like it might only get driven four thousand k a year. Yeah. What's like that? The, the fuel efficiency on that compared to like <coughs> a pickup, like the similar. It's or? honestly probably the same. It's probably as, close. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah probably pretty close. Might be a little bit more. When I bob tail in a big rig, I'm between 20 and 30 liters per hundred, and putting that enclosed trailer behind it is not going to change it. Wouldn't do nothing. 20 or 30. And my dually last trip averaged 24. Okay. So it's not right. much more. It's not much yeah. more then. But I mean, when they are pulling a load and you're going up a hill, you're at 100 liters. Oh, yeah. Per hundred kilometers. Yeah, that's, that 10 mile hill, that one's a bitch. <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> pictures on my phone of a set of B trains going up to Crest and Selmo. At 250 liters per hundred. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyone's ever been over the Crescent Salmo, they know that is a mean pull. Burning fuel, boys. 34 oh, yeah. kilometers in fourth over, going 26 kilometers an hour. So you basically burn 100 liters in that 34 kilometers. Yeah. How big is a tank on one of those? Like 400? No, uh, like seven. Okay. Yeah. You can get all different sizes. Yeah. Yeah. You can get them anywhere from I'm, four to I'm not a, I'm not a trucker. So these you are look like a trucker. <laughs> these, are irrelevant. <laughs> a trucker. these are relevant. I need my freaking plaid. You guys took all your plaid off. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It's kind of a lumberjack thing, though. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Truckers wear it, too, for yeah. some reason. But yeah, me and Colton been looking at uh, livable sled trailers. Oh, that's your new thing. I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, I'm, these hotel bills and accommodations, if we could get rid of that somehow, that would be so cool. So now we got to pay rent to Ming Wow every time we go out in this holiday trailer. Well, I was going to I was gonna let you guys stay there for free, but if you're going to pay rent, I'd Oh, pay here it is. You could just stay quiet. Yeah. But I was like, if I sold <laughs> the old enclosed trailer and my camper and bought a gooseneck livable sled hauler, I could use it in the summertime as well. And we could just park down a logging road and stay there all weekend, bring your fuel no hotel bills. We ran into a couple of people doing that. Mm-hmm. But are we going to run into where do we park the freaking thing overnight? There's always the Revelstoke parking lot there with the truckers. <laughs> Did they let you park there like with a camper overnight? Oh, yeah. You you can park, you that? Why can't you park at Frisbee overnight? We're there not going to set there up. There is actually a sign at Frisbee <laughs> saying no overnight stays. Yeah. There is actually okay, a sign. Okay, well, there. then go like, somewhere else that more isn't remote, groomed. Yeah. And the, the problem is in the winter when they do get their dumps of snow, not everything's plowed out. No doubt. So, so <laughs> you're going to be... Now local. you're there with a 40-foot trailer, <laughs> stuck as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're limited to where you can ride then. Unless you you're, got another guy coming with a sled deck. Mid-winter, you're not as limited. Early and late, yeah, absolutely. You think so? I, I think, think you're limited all the time for I different think, reasons. Yeah. Well, you're, you're definitely not going to unhook that bitch and spin it around a <laughs> kilometer three. <laughs> No, no, but if you're going down some of these logging roads, then you got the big high wind rows or whatever. Yeah. You got the plow rows, and you can't turn that thing around. So you're limited where you can go. You can go to the big plowed out parking lots, or you even have a tough time turning around on a, you know, like it's sale or something. Yeah. And then you're taking up all the parking at sale. You have to remember, too, you only pack 100 gallons of water. Ming Wild would go through that in a day. Oh, yeah. No, no. Ming Wai doesn't shower. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> See, no showers. Yesterday, he phoned me. He was going for a shower before he went treadmilling, and then he went treadmilling, and then he went for a shower after treadmill. Yeah. Clean boy. <laughs> it's a new leaf. Yeah. You still use, you still don't use soap, though. The old Fitbit. You just sit there, and you could just, like, you could just jerk it. <laughs> <laughs> How many steps? How do you think it's already got 700? Oh, that's, that's why it's on your left hand. <laughs> I got into my truck and drove here, and it's already got 700. How do you think that happened today? You sure you didn't put it on Grunts' left hand while you're on the drive here? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was watching you guys pull up, and I was like, I wonder if they all came in one vehicle. And then I saw Grunts out, and I was like, Grunts came. Oh, he's gonna not be that, on a podcast. Not that guy. He's not here. <laughs> Let me just adjust your volume. Turn we that we could down. just shut him off. Like we could just there, there. No more grunts. All right, blow. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Don't worry, I'm loud enough. Yeah, uh, still hear you. Uh, that's so, nice. Yeah. That's For, nice. Forget to unmute him. What's your next, lad? Probably a Lynx. 
Yeah, really? Is. I think I, I you're I gonna go to a do. Try it up. Yeah. What do you think of that stupid thing at the back of the track, though? I hope they have a new model by the time I'm ready <laughs> you can, to buy. You can pull you those can off. off. What yeah. is it even for? It's a snow flap. So it's you, stupid. <clears throat> they it did works. That, they did that in 03. They called it the beaver tail. It works. And everybody ripped them off. It's like the cats. Yeah. It's like, get that thing off get there. Off get out there. of the way. So you can right, take right. it off. But Why don't you just buy a of... sled that you don't have to do all that shit to? What, just pull off a snow flap? I mean, it's you're buying a sled that you steady got to work on. You always got to work on You pull on off some. the snow flap on the cats anyway. This is probably the most customized sport. Well, no, I can't say that because there's trophy trucks and there's rock crawlers mm-hmm. and... But it's very customized sport. Yeah. When you look at the guys who are pulling big shoots, which there aren't a lot It's a left dying of, breed. There's still you a don't, couple yeah, around. Yeah, but you don't need the mods to do it anymore. No. No. The factory machines are... They'll do it. Capable. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, all these factory boost options is really going to hurt the independent third-party turbo guys. How they're going to get out of it is they're just going to have to make like a jailbreak for oh they're gonna have to do some tuning to a factory option and that would be a selling feature there's always going to be things that you can upgrade on them you know like get some more airflow through your intake exhausts computer stuff you know like mapping and everything else yeah two ounce lighter pulley wheel (laughs) (laughs) all of it yeah there will be people who will do that but everybody's trying to push into everything like from handlebars to skis to you know, everyone's everyone's trying to break into the. Well, what's the next? Still. What's the next big thing? Like the latest big thing was factory turbo, factory boost. Yeah, yeah. So many needs factory supercharger. That I'm hoping that's for such it. a cat thing. I'm hoping but for it. I just, I just don't trust them. I don't trust Arctic Cat to know, make the right choice. You know what? It's kind of strange. I've been following. So, uh, DMC is running a silver. For the first time ever. He's not running a supercharger. A lot of people run same Silver with, now. Silver's actually done... I believe same with uh, Riley Kincaid. He's with uh, a turbo now. With Silver? Yep. Him well, and DMC. And Kyle has a Force Turbos on his cot. Does he? Yeah. I saw he was rigging up some sort of a turbo on Instagram there, but I wasn't sure which it was. And Force isn't big in Canada. I, no. I haven't seen a lot of them around. Silver's kind of the Is Force the one the that's one? mounted vertically instead of sideways, or is that push? Uh, I think it's push turbos that are, they're mounted vertically and they sound a lot different. My turbo does not sound like anything. No, I can barely tell you. No, it, turbo. it doesn't make a lot of noise. Like you can hear it. You can hear the fucking you should, the you valve. Should search push flap, turbos and you can't you know, hear the wastegate set off. You can hear the wastegate, but there's no whistle. Well, there's like a. I think it's not a whistle. It's like a whoosh. I think you need to let me under the hood of that thing. <laughs> and I will change. Turbo. What are you oh, gonna man. do to my sled, did, Sean? Did you get all the springs? I don't have anything that I can change that thing with. Because I think you can get what are we doing? three. Just laying against the door. I thought, or can you just adjust spring tension on that? You change springs, is my understanding. You should get a seven-pound spring. Oh, you want me to blow something up. What do you have in there, five? I believe I have a five in there. You should do seven or ten. Oh, you want me to blow up. You, I you ran, want that I ran seven to come sailing. <laughs> <laughs> I ran seven panel. or eight. I ran seven or eight on mine. Somebody was just asking you a bunch of questions on that thing. Everybody wants to know about the old turbo. It's just like, you don't want to know about that. And here's the thing, (laughs) if you haven't ridden a turbo, is it is a different riding style. If you're new to mountain riding, you're new to sledding, don't bother. Don't Don't even waste your time with getting a turbo until you can operate a naturally aspirated, Mm -hmm. like a fucking boss. I agree entirely. Yeah. Grunts, no boost for you for because like 10 years. you have to constantly, like spring riding, it's real hard to ride. But I mean, even in the deep snow, because you have to keep that exhaust pressure up. So you're always in the boost. Well, the new turbos, not so much. Riding yours last year? Which one? Oh, mine. Yeah, no, mine. Yeah. It's, you have it's, to it's, constantly on that brake. You got to be on it. Yeah. You got to be on the brake and on the throttle. You're like, like you're getting boosted 5,000 RPM. Maybe 45, I, I doubt it. Probably uh, five. It's like close to five before anything starts yeah. happening. Yeah. So you always have to be on the throttle with them, like sharp hits. But the factory turbo is not so much. There's They have ways around that, and I don't They're know. They're figuring it out. What yeah. it is. But you lose some of that top end because of it, I believe. Maybe. You don't, you're not getting full. They, they don't go up to seven pounds. No. I know the 850 Polaris have like a low compression piston in them. 
specifically yeah. for the turbo. Mm. And that's and that's how they get around it. Yeah. Um, there is some new mapping for mine because mine it's not as bad as your turbo was on the lag, but yeah, mine was. It's not good. Yeah, mine it, it was. Funny. It was an old like it was. It was like a 2012 or it was 13. A 12 turbo you put on a 15. Yeah, yeah it was a 12. I don't so, know why I remember that, but yeah. I do. So it was an old turbo, and you get more. What do you call it? Resistance, I guess, in some of in the bearings on the older stuff. But it was. I don't know. It was fun. Ugh, I enjoyed it learned, when it ran good. It was good. fun. You, you learned, learned a lot. lot. I learned a lot about a snow machine. And turbos and all that and stuff. Turbos, yeah. And turbos. And there was a ton of research done. And at the end of the day, it never left me on the mountain. No. Mm. It never you out there? gave me issues. You there? Yeah, that's fine, buddy. Hey, you can go out there. Hold on, we just gotta let the kid. We just gotta let. We gotta just let the children. All right, you're allowed out. You can leave the door open. Leave the door open, bud. You can leave the door open. It's. No, he's good. He got it. It's open. He figured it out. It's open. It's open. Just don't want it. Okay. He's tired of hearing us jabber. He's like, I don't blame him. Yeah. Talking. I don't like hearing myself talk either. But what was I saying? What were we even talking about? We're talking about turbos. Your turbo. Learning about your turbo. Learning. Ah, that's what it was. I learned a ton about that snow machine. And just how it all operates and stuff. But at the end of the day, I never got left on the hill with that fucking thing. No. It didn't blow up on me. I took the turbo out, and I still had factory compression on it, like 110 to 115 PSI each cylinder. Sold the machine. Sold the turbo. Turbo was still good. It was just a little things. Like, it was a lot of... Mapping. Was it the programming? A lot, was... of, a lot of the issue back then was... The controllers and stuff. I always thought your issue was more of the... F you're never mixing the fuel quite perfectly. Yeah, well, it's... And you got to change. Ratio? And it was a... And that was the other thing, was it wasn't a... It wasn't programmed to change with elevation. I had to go in, change my threshold... On the way up. The on my way up the trail to bring my fueling... Your AFR. Down. My fueling down as you yeah. go up because your air gets thinner right yeah yeah so you're just and, flooding it out less yeah. air less fuel yeah. yeah exactly so you have to lean it out as you go up and then richen it up as you come down so and that's what turbo setups used to be like yeah like not even that long ago like no. five years ago no that was yeah standard. it wasn't it wasn't long ago and a lot of people i i didn't hate it i'm not gonna lie to you guys i didn't hate it you know what when it worked because yeah. <laughs> but here's the other thing <laughs> is bass. back maybe maybe 15, 20 years ago when everything was carbureted, what were guys doing on the way up the mountain? Well, they were adjusting jets. Yeah. Ducks. They were doing Until, jets. Or they were duct taping the intake. You exactly. could do that off on the way up. Yeah. You could exactly. Do that too. So to me, adjusting that a little bit, the issues, I don't know. I had a ton of fun on that thing. I want a turbo again. Oh, yeah. When did we first see turbos kind of hit the side scene? Like 2010? No, before that. Oh, the they've been around that, forever. Before really? that. Uh, they were around on, like, the old 670s. They were rare. Really? Yep. They were rare. Oh, but God, like, so, like, late 90s? Around. Yeah, and I don't Early even 2000s. remember. Yeah, late 90s. Man, really? Kind of when it started. You put a little, if you, if you had any kind of mechanical knowledge on turbos, you could grab, like, a little turbo off a, like, a four-cylinder diesel, and if you knew how to make it work and add your fuel and everything, you could get that thing to spool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just need to build some brackets and some mounting and your exhaust, changing your exhaust to be the biggest part. Yeah. yeah. Well, when the turbos were on the carbureted units, it was kind of a, was kind of a little bit of a nightmare. A real hit and miss thing. <laughs> That's kind of a little yeah. bit of a nightmare. Yeah. But after they came on, well, they came onto the Yamahas first. Well, that not not first, but that's when they got really popular. Hmm. Is when MCX started bolting them onto Yamahas and on the four strokes. Yeah, and they were dependable. Yeah. And that's when that's like early two thousands where everybody was. Going up the big hills. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? Yeah, he's figuring it out. <laughs> oh, he wants so, to go. He can't get over. He wants to go see Sarah. Oh, uh, well, he's gonna have to stay. I don't think he gets to. <laughs> he's no, gonna you gotta have stay to hang down out. There. You can after though. You can after. This is the, this is an early morning podcast, boys. It is. What what time is it? What time is it, Mister Grunts? Why Grunt? do you guys make me drink it this is early? Eight fifty six. We've almost been doing this for 45 minutes. But I want to know 47 minutes. 
47 minutes. This is a casual podcast, so anything that goes wrong. Last time we had the dogs barking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was what a mess. I want to know since oh, we're on okay. Turbo Talk. Okay. Oh, turbo okay. Talk. Let's, Nobody okay, wants to let's know get, Let's dogs. get real here. Let's, let's get real. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, the the spit catcher. Off. All right. Hey, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> get her in there. You got a question for me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. He is good for that. He just yeah. holds it right here. Yeah. You do get the best. <laughs> I can smell it. Yeah. Kay. You do get the best audio when it's like right here. Though. What do you think about your turbo? Your I honest l- thoughts on it. I love it. The bottom end sucks. Getting like just that throttle to just get it to spool up. Besides that, I got no problem with it. But... They have a new mapping for it for the 2022, which should go back to the 19s. And if I bring that sled into APS, I think maybe they can install it. Well, that'd be nice. And that'll clear up the bottom end. Yeah. Yeah. They told me it was in clutching. I'm like, it's not in clutching. <laughs> <laughs> this one isn't in clutching. <laughs> yeah. Even riding that, you could, like, it is laggy down below. Yeah. Yeah. It takes, it's, it's an, it's not an older turbo setup. It's just they they still didn't have it dialed in. There's restriction perfect. there when you're down low. Yeah, that and engine it, was never supposed to have a turbo. So no, they weren't. They so end up wonky. You just have a bunch of restriction until you can get some airflow back into that engine with your turbo. Yeah, that's all it is. So besides that, I I love it. I mean, deep snow, turbo good. It's fun. I haven't got to try it in <laughs> deep snow yet. When did you get that thing? February. I think it was closer to. Um, I could actually, March. if I looked up the videos, I could tell you when it was. I think it was like March. Yeah. It was late, like it was late in the season, because I only got to take it out a couple of times. Did you ride it? No. Nope. You didn't even try it. Nope. I think you need to get out and try it. See what you think about a turbo. We'll see. What happened to the super? I thought we had this super idea, oh, and yeah. then we talked to a follower. And it's uh, like you had your butt hurt about the supercharger a little no, bit. No, I got to try it. I got to know for myself. Yeah. Are you going to put it on that slide? You want to do a super on your fucking old cat? <laughs> no. On the old ditch pickle? Yep. You want to do a super? On the old That zip? thing's not going to blow up. No. Probably not. That thing's how many care on that one? Uh, we looked. Yeah, well, 40. It's close to five. 47 or 48. Not close to old Whitey yet. And it's still old ripping. Whitey celebrating 6,000 kilometers. 6, 000, Let's hear it for yeah. old Whitey. Same what engine. Years, Whitey? What's that? What years, Whitey? Four, uh, 14. Yeah, 14. 14. With goofy upgrades. Well, yours that... is still young. Yeah, mine's 16. And it's had easy miles. Did you? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched. I was watching Instagram. I sent it to Ben. Kyle just cut all the fingers off an old power cord. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. I, I told you to watch that, didn't I? Mm-hmm. What was yeah. I watched it. What did it say? See three? that? Just chisel them off. He saved three pounds. Three pounds of rotating Three mass. pounds. And apparently it kicks ass. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think you get yourself a nice brand new sharp chisel. I'm going to. And I'm just gonna cut those fingers slice off. Slice them off like that. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe he had it hot too or something, but no. It looked pretty, like it went through it like butter. Yeah. 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 I was going to use the Sawzall. <laughs> yeah, when I seen that, I was like, that's a way better idea than getting yeah. the Sawzall and shaking the sh- That's what I was Catching and uh, <laughs> something not going right. If I supercharge the ditch pickle, yeah, it probably needs a new track. No, no. I would do a refresh on the top end, too. Oh, yeah, just, that's happening Just anyway. because. Meanwhile, yeah. I was a little bit abusive to my track. No. Oh, I would say. I think you were abusive to Mingwa's bumper on his new machine. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. I think I think fair trade has happened. That was not even because you bought it that way. That was that poor way. planning. No, that was you bad driving. No, it was really not. <laughs> <laughs> if that was like a bumper that I got powder coated, I would be upset about it. Yeah, we came out of the parking lot at Cochran. In Cochran, Husky. and they got this wicked corner. Yeah, and a. Short little uphill. Yeah, just enough. Just enough for the trailer to smack. Uh, short, the short bumper. tongue on trailer, and eight foot deck with one sixty two, doesn't quite work. Not quite. Not quite. Just a little, little too long. Could have been worse. So, what else are we looking for for the trailer? Is there any followers out there willing to get rid of your junk? <laughs> 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 to support this trailer. You want to repurpose some stuff. We need, we need some cabinets. Who's an aluminum welder? Who's a fabricator? Didn't you... You tagged me in something out of Red Deer, wasn't it? There that fabricator? Coke in there, too. That builds... Uh, he built, like, a, a mountain for that heater and a bunch of other stuff. You tagged me in it a long ago. 
can't remember what I did What's yesterday. What's wrong with but... our mount? Oh, it's fine. But this guy laser cuts like nice aluminum mount for that heater and like benches and cabinets, all sorts of shit. Hmm. Super clamp hangers. Oh, I'm gone yeah. for Christmas. When I get back, I'll build some more shit. Uh... <laughs> Without Ben's permission. <laughs> That's Absolutely. The most Absolutely. You need some practice on your fabrication skills. I mean, you can make stuff. It's not pretty. Not going to lie to you. It's not I haven't pretty. seen you make anything. I haven't. And <laughs> if I actually spend a little bit of time at it, it's a lot better. I built those so you we don't can go take, sledding. Yeah, but I know, but you don't Ooh, take you got time. some liquor in there, Willis. I like it. That's probably a weak rum for, or whiskey for him. Yeah, what is up with me and getting the freaking <laughs> rums and cokes that don't look like there's any coke in them? It's brown. That is black. <laughs> that one's fine. Maybe okay. we should maybe we should do an evening podcast sometime and drink coffee. We oh. should. Yeah. I'm just waiting for those live releases and you guys you guys are gonna have to take that off work or something. I don't know what you're gonna <laughs> uh, Well, what time does that start at? April. That's like an April thing. But sometimes no, but cat what, usually does they're five in the afternoon or five, right, six, usually seven. In the evening. evening. Yeah, usually in the evening. So I can be off work. How about you? Probably not. Truck or chow? We'll just FaceTime you from behind the wheel. Dude, there. I can actually hook it up with this thing that you can be on the call. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can actually hook that up. That'd be up. perfect. That you got a headset. Thing. You're ready to go. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> You'll just be like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> tell me the story. <laughs> oh, there's a deer. Oh, <laughs> oh they tell got a new so, track Tell somebody year. cuts him off and he curses at them and blows his wannabe air horn. Honk, <laughs> honk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know he doesn't even have an air horn. No. It's more like meet meet. <laughs> I know. Meep, meep. I want to I want to retire those track speed videos and do and do the podcast thing instead. Track speed. I want to reti- I want to retire those videos. I don't like doing them. Which ones? Those ones that I just do that review of when the sleds come out every year. I want to retire those. Yeah, those are awful. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't yeah. like doing them. No. Sean's, no. Sean's honest opinions coming out. Well, I'm pretty sure like your uh, wife come down here and confiscated my job. Yeah. Oh, maybe. I think she took the juice too, which I was a little <laughs> upset about because I didn't get a chance to get over there and get any. <laughs> what do you do? That's okay. Sucks being an adult. Yeah. Yeah. It's, sometimes Cat will do a weird thing where they like do their release like December. They did that one year. Yeah. That was unpredictable. Well, yeah, and yeah. do had their early release there too for their turbos in yep. 2020 and a half. Half there, yeah. So, yeah, do some of those. Hold on, Kmod's getting too much free advertising here. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, Get out of okay, here. Let's get APS on the screen. You want APS up there? Yeah. Let's get APS up there or something yeah. like that. Those guys are pretty good to us. They're, yeah. Uh, we're getting some um, bumpers from them. Mm-hmm. Working but, on uh, What are you getting? You getting pink? Uh, <laughs> 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 he sent me a picture. I think it's a Royal, royal blue. There we go. It yeah. should, it should match up okay. I think. He's good. And uh, well, I've never seen it on the internet like that before. That looks pretty good. You like that? Looks kind of cool. We got nice, scre- we got screens everywhere. Nice, in here, so. nice work, Ben and Rich. That looks, that looks good. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Check out their products. If you're looking for any sort of aftermarket anything for your sled, these guys are the guys. Yeah, and they don't. You want a yeah. good deal, and they want you to not fuck you around. <laughs> <laughs> no, and they got uh, like they only sell what they believe in too. Like yeah. they don't they don't sell junk. They don't sell stuff they don't believe in. So they sell good products, and and they work. Yeah, we so. got some bumpers coming from BMP. Sean said that. Yeah, it should have a can from Silver. Ooh, Silver can. Silver can. I got a wrap already at the house. Just need a sled. 365. <laughs> Just need Just a sled. Need a sled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got my sled racks I got to put on the tunnel somehow there. I would like to do some handlebars possibly on this one. But What's the deal with your bars this time? Are they are they still doing that? I don't know. Same bars still pro taper. Oh, God. Cross member. Still that's... pro taper. I kind of want to give Kyber yeah. a try. They're new. They're nice bars. The Kyber bars are nice yeah, bars. a couple people from Revelstoke Sycamus. They yeah, do have nice products. Nice, I'm not a big fan of Cheetah. I'm not either. Never had them. <laughs> Never had uh, them. I have Cheetah on the Alpha, actually. Do yeah. you? Yeah. Just I don't have a... Uh, well, that one's got a short... Who's the other Who's too? the other bar? Is Pro Taper. Wait. I think... Who's Christique with? Christique's... Yeah, he made his own signature his own bars. signature this. bars. That's just a piece this of year. metal. We should build our own bar. Oh, boy. Sean's got the Mr. Fabricator. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what Grunts. we got. Yeah. Well, we could build bars easy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, they may right. not be pretty. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't be pretty. You'd no. have that welding. Oh, 
<laughs> You'd be cutting your hands all day on them. What are you even talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? We see pieces of MIG wire sticking off your <laughs> welds. That's what I'm talking about. Where? You know. I'll show you next time we're in the trailer. <laughs> you know. Don't worry. I inspect things. Uh, and I've that overlay. Some of your wiring. Don't worry. Oh. oh boy, it I'm works though. I'm surprised you haven't thrown the tire falling off on the highway. Off. So, yeah. We yeah, concluded. What are you, like, you going to blame we, on me? You no, just we, have, no, we concluded that was you. Why was it me? I told him that to tighten you. the wheel. I oh. tightened the wheel. You over torqued it with the impact. They're not. We're not over torqued. If they were torqued, they'd be broken. They I, were. I just broken. go. I just told they I, were no, no, no. <laughs> I told you I just gave them a, a, a just a tap with the impact. They're reasonably tight, but please torque them. And they didn't move when I torqued them. Yes, I did not. Rim. I'm not I'm blaming not anybody. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hundred bucks. We'll fix it. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks. We'll fix it. How, How many uggadugas did you give it? Tapa dapa. Uggadugga. Uggadugga. Uggadugga dugga. No, I, I, <laughs> The problem is, and I've seen it with quads too is that when those lug nuts those freaking chrome ones or whatever they are they've been on there a long time they're like it's almost seized on there aluminum yeah it's the aluminum they're aluminum are they aluminum lug nuts they're aluminum rims, rims. which so aluminum, aluminum rims those, aluminum, aluminum think, rims suck on i think those. The, the lug nuts just have them stupid fake chrome covers i think the threads yeah. when you went to tighten it i think it felt tight but because there's so much corrosion in those threads could be they Probably that's my theory because I remember taking them off and I was like these are like chugging to get off. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I think that's probably what happened. Very well, could have been. Yeah. Did so you... Sean wants to pick on my welding skills. Have you ever heard of anybody drill a hole in something, run your wires, but before you run your wires, you want to put Deutsch connectors on. So we cut the wire to run the wire in, put butt connectors on, and then Deutsch connectors on. What is the point of that? When did that happen? The front lights. <laughs> the front lights. Everybody's work is just getting. You put the Deutsch here. connectors ben, inside. What did you fuck up? Yeah. Did you guys? So how, you what do you guys think of the trim? Does the trim look good? Trim? trim looks and then good, eh? <laughs> no. Yeah. I stuck the Deutsch connectors directly to the wires that cut. Why would I butt connect after I put the wire through the wall? They had both connectors on because you wanted the length. I don't. I didn't take a look at the only reason I. The only reason you see buck connectors on the driver's side when they come in is because they're hooked up to the other side. That's it. It's the only reason why they. I had to cut the wires there. I don't understand why you're so hard on for these fucking Deutsch connectors. (laughs) If anybody has worked with wiring, you know that Deutsch is the way to go. Is the way to go. (laughs) But it doesn't matter if you have to. There was no point in doing Deutsch on them because it, in order to change the lights, you have to cut them back off. No, you don't. The They're Deutsch, Deutsch connectors, connectors on the outside, right? No, Deutsch connectors no, on, on the inside, inside on the front. On the front but the nice oh, thing the about ones. a Deutsch connector is they're really easy just to clip apart, pull your wires through, put new pins on, slide your wires in, hook so it back up to the same plug. You get a better connection. How? <laughs> The Deutsch connector they controversy. Stay together. <laughs> I don't know, man. Big fan of it. Whatever. Big fan of it. Whatever. Yeah, but you don't even like them solder connectors I have. No, those fucking. <laughs> and Rackage loves them. I, I am a fan of those fucking ones. Amazon things. My God, <laughs> those were not Amazon. Just gotta be I don't agree with that at all. Um, those were not Amazon. What do you tell me to be gentle those with? Were ri- those were Wish. Uh, <laughs> wish. No, those weren't either. Those were Napa. Mm. I have some Amazon ones. You told me those were from Wish. I do have some wish ones. Those were not. Son of a gun. Yeah. So 30,000. 30,000. That's the whole reason why we did this podcast. 30,000 of you people subscribe. decided to subscribe to this. But remember right. when we did the giveaway at 3,000? We're not doing giveaways anymore. I don't like doing giveaways. Yeah. Well, I just don't like doing it. There's a lot of YouTubers that don't do it. And no. then, like they're huge and they're just like, I'm not doing giveaways. Yeah. And, and we're not even doing a store right now. We will do a store again, but we're not doing one right now. We need to do a store. We will. I just don't want to do one. Right I now. want some shit, and you I need to get you it. I know you want some shit. <laughs> yeah, you I know start you want getting... some free shit. You want some free shit too? I, I don't necessarily free want shit. free shit. No, I will pay for shit. my shit. Hey, I don't so, want you to pay for anything. If you're not gonna do a store, I think you should have a stock of stuff. You're going down, my <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have a stock of stuff. 
that we maybe take out with us. You see us? Want to buy something? I'll just give it away for free. I think I'll just have decals. We'll just give them away for free. I think decals. you need to have some mechanic style short sleeve button up shirts. I know. Let's say sixes across the back. We're gonna put this. Back on. We're gonna put this. The the pop filter back on. Why don't you make more on. noise with that motherfucker? Put the pop filter back on, buddy. Grunts. I thought you said you'd never do a podcast. I did. <laughs> and tell me why you were so upset about us changing our name. To, to productions, productions from performance. You actually had a menti. We're you not still a pro- no, I never it. had a menti. You deleted. <laughs> you deleted <laughs> us on I'm Facebook. Unsubscribing. Yeah, unsubscribed. unsubscribed. <laughs> I'd like to hear your reasoning. I just don't like it. Why? We're production. We oh produce video. This is perform. Look up here. Look up here. Look up here. You see, this is. You could have. You could have. The freaking performance al- right here. It could be altitude performance. It could yeah. be altitude performance. They we sell don't performance sell parts. Part. We don't sell parts. We could. We don't What's, make parts. Okay, how about this? We don't make sleds perform any better. Probably you worse. definitely don't make sleds perform. <laughs> Once you get your set of handlebars you're working on on the market. <laughs> <laughs> Grunt, Grunt signature farm boy handlebars. <laughs> which is just they gonna ain't be, gonna bend. They're only gonna cost you five bucks as well. Because it's just gonna be they're a not gonna bend. piece of pipe and just clamper down. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's your handlebars. When you get your handlebars, you got to come to the garage and I'll weld them on there for you. <laughs> There's yeah, no bolt just, nothing. Ming Wow is going to be the guinea pig. For the Christmas trip, his sled will have a custom set. Oh, absolutely custom not. set of bars. <laughs> Straight. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> when you get in your finger throttle? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Nope. nope, you haven't put an effort. I I'm, ride it nope. and I don't like it. Nope, you haven't ridden it long enough. That's I'm, the deal with the I, finger throttle. I haven't put enough effort. Dude, it needs two days because I was, I was ready to give up after the first day. I was out with Nigel, and I was like, this is bullshit. I hate this thing. And Ben told me, whole give it another day. Yeah, whole weekend. I was like, okay. Now I get off one to the thumb throttle. I'm like, that's shit. How, how, do you, how do I ride with this thing all these years? Yeah, thanks to the guys I need at Monster. Monster sent us Monster. throttle. One throttle, anyway. Thanks, Monster. No, it is a good product. Though. It yeah. is, yeah. It yeah. is a good product. Why don't you tell us how you feel about why it's better... Why you wouldn't go back to thumb throttle? I feel like we did a video on this, but yeah, uh, you did. It didn't make it to air because the sound, the the wind was like right in the mic. <sighs> was it windy uh, in here too? Yeah. Um. Sorry. <laughs> what was? What, sorry. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, can you put some more whiskey in here, guys? <laughs> um. Number one is for yeah when you're side hilling, we got the bars in close to you. You're not trying to. Do this and grab your throttle it from the backside. So nice. You just got that. your thumb wrapped around the bars, and you just got your finger there cruising along. So nice. That's like my favorite part about it for sure. Do you feel like you're more symmetrical with having a finger on the brake and a finger on the throttle? I never think about that, but I mean, when you bring it up, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's really a thing. Doesn't for me. doesn't doesn't really affect you guys doesn't affect me. Well, no. a lot of like anybody who rides a sea do, they're all they're all finger throttle. Sea do. I think they're all finger throttle. Some. Are they? They're I've definitely seen some finger throttle sea dudes. You can probably just roll them over. Yeah. But those guys don't have to worry about throttle brake, throttle brake, because that's really not an option. Me and Ben had a sea dude rental when we were on a houseboat a few years ago, and we thought it was going to be like a sled. So like, all right, we yeah. want to go right. We'll turn left and lean. No, <laughs> nope, That nope. bitch goes left when you turn it left. You wouldn't well, believe it. That's wrong. Propeller. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> the old propeller in the back is what steers you boys. Well... Not the front end. It feels weird. You better go switch that up, eh? Go switch some linkage yeah. so it's back. If you guys want to ride like that, you might as well take your sleds out as a sea do, and then... Yeah, we could have. It, it, then you got your normal way of riding. Yeah. Yep. So you find hill climbing. Does it help with that? Yep. Uh, same difference. Same difference. I just like having my thumb wrapped around the bars for taking taking whoops or something, some uneven terrain when you're coming up with some speed. You got your thumb wrapped around the bars. I rode your sled for... 20 minutes last year i notice in 20 minutes you got a pretty good burn in your forearm though well your arm yes. will learn it's gonna learn today and tomorrow <laughs> and then the third day and then it'll be better but it's gonna learn oh my <laughs> lord it, yeah your finger gets a little sore the problem i had with thing of throttle is that my other two fingers kept getting stuck i've heard that before yeah behind it yeah behind it so i was only full throttle from me was half throttle because that's on the back you got your throttle, throttle stop there yeah, i hit my other fingers <laughs> yeah yeah you have to wear thin gloves with it too yeah oh it's just uh just that first door as soon as you walk Are you off two grunts don't hit the camera he's got to be a pee. try not to take try not to take out the whole place you able to do that by yourself or do you need me to hold your hand you hold it. no thanks <laughs> 
So now that he's gone. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> he's shitty. Put some more whiskey in there for him. Yeah, no doubt. Should I? Yeah, better top him he's up. He's the bartender man. He's oh in his God. spot. Ooh. I made him bartender man for a reason. That ash a hole made me a freaking bourbon when there's more rum. Yeah, there's uh, anything but regular rum in there right now. Anything mm. but. Anything Ooh, but. Bailey's. Nobody you still haven't topped Bailey's. up the you fancy. You want some Bailey's? Nah. Coffee? Coffee and Bailey's? Yeah, I could go for a little Bailey's. You want some Bailey's? Yeah. Well, oh, you got to wait for the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a lot of Bailey's. Oh, fuck. When are you going riding again, Matt? Um, Maybe the weekend before Christmas. But it all just kind of depends. We have currently a new Polaris sitting in. Well, not new. It's not a Matrix. But a newer Polaris in there. Sitting in there with the tunnel cut. No. I'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, after. have a look at it. Um, There's one wonky part with the instructions that. You're doing a tunnel cut. Uh, on Polaris, on not just Polaris, the tunnel's cut right now. It's sitting in the garage, like twenty feet away from you. Really? Cut. Yeah, we've installed the Mountain Tech kit. Really? Yep. And you're gonna give that a shot, eh? You know what? I've never actually heard anything bad about it. I've heard a lot of speculation of bad shit, but I've never actually heard. I think it's it a decent kit. Bad. This is a gluing kit. It is. Yeah, it's more like silicone. Silicone. But yeah. 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 What are I we think- gluing? We've got a, a Polaris out there in the garage with the tunnel cut. Mm. Yeah. Do you have it all together or is it just cut right now? It's all together. It's all installed. Like there's no bumper or anything on there. So you can actually see all the all the workings right now. How'd you guys get the tunnel clean enough to glue? Uh we just cut it with a well, we started with a little tiny air reciprocating saw. That got got pissed off at that quick enough. And then we switched to the old Benjamin saws all. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that made quick work of it. Yep. Um, and yeah, we just took off seven inches and installed the kit. Popped her in there. Not bad. There's one wonky part with oh, it. Man. There's always a wonky part, and I read this directions over and over again. I'm like, this is wonky. Mm. This isn't. This seems like it might be made for something else. But. Like it's vague, or just you just no. Just the way they want the parts to go together doesn't work. Oh, I see. Yeah, mm. it's it's just a rivet. How they want. Like rivet, a rivet is what keeps that fitting in. Yeah, like so just, it's it's silicone. One on each side, like yeah, just keep yeah. it square and yeah, they're just three D printed little elbow things. things. But they want you to drill through it and then not go through the bottom of the cooler, but go through the top of the cooler. But then the rivets they give you are too long, so I put in shorter rivets, but they still were too long. So I'm just like, Whoa. and then by the time we were done, it was like we should have just drilled through the whole thing. But. Mm-hmm. Whatever that that part was a little wonky, but yep. besides that, it went together. Why are you cutting your tunnel? Easy. No, but I think you should actually chop yours. Why? Uh, Why I, I would think about well, doing mine. Your guys' is the easiest thing to do, and I don't know why you haven't just cut bumper. off. No, you don't. No, but he's got to buy me a back bumper when I cut mine. I'll why would you have mine. to? Why would you have to cut your bumper? <laughs> you do have to cut your bumper yeah. because don't on the you, cats, don't you have to trim up the front side of it and yes. you can move it forward? Yes. Yeah. Slide it down. Super easy. It's easy Fine. to do. You want to do my chain case well and cut my tunnel? <laughs> how much would you take I've off? I've never done a tunnel cut before on a cat. That's I don't know how everything easier. lines. It is easier, but I don't know how everything quite lines up, but I will be doing one soon on the do white one. Do a little one. research. Get cut done. eight inches off her. you got eight. a lot of work to do. you gotta, you got to trim up that track. you got to do a tunnel cut on old white. Change his oil. you got to change his oil. you probably got to okay. do some skid work on yours because it's probably every bo- bolt <laughs> is loose again. I caught it last time before yeah. we went out. <laughs> I drew, was there I, actually a bolt yes, loose yep. before we left? Not only was it loose, it was broken off in the axle. <laughs> 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 so I fixed that, drilled out bigger holes, tapped her out. Got her extracted, and away we go. Do they? Does BMP sell rear bumpers? Yes. Yeah, we should go. Look in, we should I've, go in here. And look. I've put I them see. on a couple Polaris's, and they're actually. I wonder if we can. I would like one to BMP stiffen here. up my back tunnel because I've already seen one fold in half. Now I don't know if that was just operator error. You seen that, eh? Seen I that. was gonna tell you, but I, I really didn't want to. They no, have. It happens. BMP has spindles now too. That's no what. Uh, yep. Joe, no when are you bringing your sled in? Here? Mm-hmm. I don't nice. know. Those are cool. Well, there's another option. Huh. More spindles. Everybody's making spindles. Slash. Ooh. There you oh, go. You are 165. Go to 155. Empty. 155. 155. 155. 155. Make a trash. 155. Ooh, that looks nice. Well, Actually. Do you want me to like work on your sled grounds? 
Mm-hmm. You want that chain case done? I really like that rear bumper. It's pretty it's cool, nice. huh? Yes. Go look at the cat ones. No. Oh, let's just have we a got look a new here. Matrix coming in. That's true. Man, that's a good looking sled. You can't really see the bumper <coughs> in that one, but it's really not though. <laughs> Sorry, I, think, I was just coughing there. I wasn't puking in the mic or nothing. I think they, I think they look cool. It looks nice. If you could get that bare aluminum powder coated. Blue, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, You need something to polish on there. APS powder coats everything for us. If you want something powder coated, they'll do it for you too. I, I do not. I do not want to polish anymore. <laughs> I don't. You're done with I that don't eight. like bare aluminum. Remember at your all. first two sleds? You were polishing nonstop. Your first one, especially. I want to get full aluminum. Well, that, that used to be what the thing was: yep. polish your tunnel. Shiner. It was, yes. That's what everybody did. So the snow wouldn't. That stick makes to us it. feel old, eh? Been riding so long that polishing is not in anymore. No color, man. Color is a thing. I for a tunnel cut on a sixteen. We're you got to pay attention we here. We got her up right now, buddy. <laughs> Uh, so all you'd... Re- 146. Well, that's the... 141, whatever. Uh, actually, it's right. actually the same length of tunnel as yours. You use the same tunnel on the 141s as the 153s. It sticks out a little further. I don't remember when I picked up on that, but I was like, hey, so these could, assholes are using the same tunnel. Could you not just trim that brace to fit whatever you okay. want to cut off? Or so no? here's your problem. Either these four rivets are like super important. They're like load bearing rivets. I would say they're, they are. they're a cherry rivet, so they're you can you have to grind them off. You can't even cut them. Mm. So you'd have to like mm, it's such a wonky it. thing because the tunnel tapers right. Yeah. So the bumper in the very back, you have see. to move that forward. But then the tunnel's not the right size anymore. Yeah, so it's gonna get thicker the yeah. further this way you come when yeah. you cut it. But then if you decide to cut it here instead, then you have to figure out like you can't even do it because you got this cut out for your brace here. You wouldn't even be able to do it. Well, you wouldn't want to cut it there. That's freaking like right. Well, that's that's what I mean. Yeah. Is you got to figure out how much you want to take off. Yeah, how much and where. I do like that though. That's a nice looking bumper. Yeah, that's a nice mm-hmm. looking. They've got some good stuff. Yeah, uh, for sure. Probably their. Oh, I don't remember if it's a BMP product. Ooh, they got it in green too, eh? Yeah, well, you want well, you gotta have the. Did you know that you can actually get anything powder coated in basically any color you can imagine? I, 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 I do. from I, BMP. Th- that's the thing, though. Is it any powder coat place? What? I don't imagine they just powder. They might. Powder Sean, coat you're themselves. speaking in the wrong. There you go. Buddy. There you go. Hello, there you go, buddy. I'm there you back. Go, buddy. Why did you decide to go blue on the ditch burger? Because it was the exact same color he chose. For his sled is what I did my springs and bumpers in. The 152 blue? Blue. 152 was the powder coat color. It's my old drill and rig number. That's how I remember that one. B152. Yep. Who makes those um, little uh, ski rubbers? It's not what Brant makes them, I think. Someone out of Calgary? Was it? I don't know. Yeah, it's Source. Nigel said he Source has some on order. Source in Innovations. Their, I believe Source it. Innovations does. Yeah. yeah, they make a full-size ski stopper yeah because when you look at the polaris one it's just like this is bullshit yeah this <laughs> they is, are this yeah. is gonna be done in no time yeah they are. so cool. source innovations makes a hard one dunlop i think it's called dunlop chris brant uses a company that's makes a wide ski they rubber. make a they make a wide ski rubber too it's is it the solid. same on your matrix or you don't know if they change that probably i think there's still the gripper skis on there on the floor of the trailer if they're the same is Spare ski rubber for your sled, your sled, and my sled. Ooh. Well, it is for yours. Mine and yours mine. are the same. His is different. Oh, so it won't work for yours then? Well, we could cut his and stick it in ours. But that'd be the I was just way. saying because Ben's the only one that's ever blown one. Uh, you, you don't know me well enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mr. Ski Rubber. And Matt will keep, he'll duct tape the crap oh, yeah, out I'll of it. I'll just keep using it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He won't even buy a new one for $20. Oh, well, I the, bought the, new <laughs> the problem I had that one year is I couldn't even get them. Yeah, you know? yeah, just because the rubber, the rubber thing with back to COVID. When I hit the tree, I ripped one. Really? It's still in there? I think I have a spare one for it your touching sled. your bumper. I, have, I bought it? two, and that's why there's a spare one in the trailer. Oh, there you go. Brand new. Hmm. Um, no, not this last trip. Do you remember the first trip at uh, the name we're not going to use? Where I went up the hill and then come straight back down the hill into that giant 18-inch spruce. Mm-hmm. There you go, buddy. That day. There you there. go. There you are. Wow. There you are. Don't move. Wow. <laughs> I ripped one there. You're hard on equipment, eh? 
That You're hurt actually a lot. hard on the forest. <laughs> You're He's even, a logger. I'm really hard on my front end, but it hasn't broke yet. Yep. I thought it broke when he hit that last oh, year. Oh, yeah. I'm like that. I thought it broke last year when I went over the bar. <laughs> like, I don't know what you were doing that day, but just tree after tree. They're built I was tough. not in good condition that day. My foot was sore. I was soaking wet. So how's your foot? I want to. So did you ever get that checked out? I still can't did you walk. Get that checked out. You didn't get it checked out. No. No. Is it still bruised? Bruised. Actually, bruised? when I stepped on his fucking ski, <laughs> that one bruised worse than the other one. He dicked both his feet that I'm weekend. Just beating the shit out of him. I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> I, I climbed off of my tunnel because there was three at the front, and landed on Matt's ski, and twisted my ankle or foot or whatever the fuck. That foot hurt worse than the ass foot. You should probably start going for some working out or something. You're getting oh, them. shut up. You're accident prone. You are. Yeah. I, I think tripped on shit. I think it's you being lazy, that trucker thing. You got no muscle and nothing. Fuck. You're all blubber. Uh-huh. Start, like, <laughs> double, start, start, start double clutching her once in a while. You know, get that other foot working. That's right. Yeah. Get some things going. Yeah. So we got anything else Is to that talk it? about? How long have we been? We've been an hour. We've been an hour and twenty minutes. Okay, that's that's. It's almost time to wrap it up here. Yeah. People, people probably want to know what kind of YouTube we watch. Eh? We no. I don't watch anything related to sledding. I you don't watch nothing at all. I do. What do you watch? Well, I used to watch Ross a lot. Ross Robinson. Uh, I watch a few Chris Brown stuff once in a while. Little Caleb, I'm not. I'm not adamant on it. No, I'm not I either. Some, I watch some chainsaw stuff. Oh yeah, you know, I watch some uh, some arborist stuff. Yeah. You should, cause you fucking suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> my, most of my YouTube is how tos. That's good. How to do you this? Suck how to at do a that? lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> All like right. Okay. All okay, right. That's enough. All right. All right. <laughs> listen. Grunts are gonna go. Listen. We're very lucky. Smackdown. We're very lucky to have each other because we have buddies to ride with. Yep. Because that seems to be the biggest thing down in the comments. You guys, look look in the comments. If you're looking for riding buddies, no. look in the comments. Find someone in because your area. Because you'll find somebody. Because we get a lot of people asking to ride yep. with us. And as much as we'd love to, we can't take everybody We're out. trying to get rid of one right now. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of another one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that we don't want, want to ride with all you guys. It's just hard when we're going out. We got a group that we know how they ride and stuff and going places. It's just hard to bring another guy in. And it's hard with, if we wanted to do a group thing, it's hard with legal stuff. Like, I don't know how the legal end of it works. Cause like, to do how, some what are that. we going to be responsible yeah. for if something happens? Yeah. We don't want to get into a situation where yeah. So if happens. anything, I think the best way to do it, would almost to be do like an Alberta thing where we just kind of go out somewhere. We have smoke keys in a fire. I was wondering if it just like a parking lot meet would be that's, the best that's thing. That's the best thing we can do, I think. Set up a tent in the parking lot with a table and be like, come hang out and have a Pepsi or whatever. And yep. Smoky and have a chat. I think that's the best yep. way to do it. Yeah. And we're going to have Grunts on display if oh. you guys want to meet him. <laughs> Grunts will be The here. one and only. <laughs> the guy that sounds like he's drunk all the time, probably because he is. Probably because he is. That would do it. <laughs> yes, sir. Brooklyn Shtick. I'll, I'll bring the whiskey. Oh, of course he will. <laughs> all right, everybody, we're going to wrap it up. Um, we don't ask for subscribers on the podcast. That's a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell, tell your wife. Tell your, friends. tell your kids. We're going to do it anyway. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks, you guys, for coming out. And if your wives are watching, send them over. all right okay that's it all right thanks Thanks. everybody thanks guys thanks guys beautiful